Village 7 in Colorado Springs. My name is Brian Counts and I'm one of the pastors no. here. This is my wife Erica, my youngest son JB, and Merry Christmas. We're so glad that you could join us here tonight. We all know this has been a really tough year. We've been isolated from one another, but the good news of Christmas is that God has not isolated himself from us, but he has come as one of us to be with us. And so while we wait through the hardships and trials of this life, we are comforted because we know that once the long expected Jesus did come and he will come once again to be with us. He is still one of us as John chapter one tells us, which we're gonna start with tonight as we begin our story. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Say Merry Christmas together. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
from Luke 2. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. Hail, hail to the newborn King, let our voices sing Him our praises. Hail, hail to the guiding light that brought us to And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. And Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. <laughs>
and Merry Christmas from the Hill family. Our next song is called Holy Presence, and it's a song I wrote a few years ago, kind of inspired by the idea that we don't have a lot of Christmas songs about the wise men. And I wanted to write a song that highlights the gifts of the wise men and how they point us to Christ. Gold, because he is the King of Kings. Frankincense that was used in the Old Testament temple 
to remind us that he is the great high priest and myrrh, an embalming spice used to prepare bodies for burial, to remind us that he came to earth as a baby, lived a perfect life, and died on the cross for our sins and was raised again from the dead. And the last verse of the song reminds us of the gift that is given to those who trust. The counselor, the comforter, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Presence given to those who believe. This evening's musical offering is not quite a program. It's not quite a concert. Uh, we really didn't know what to call it. We're used to having 100 plus people uh, on the stage for our Christmas event here at Village 7. But this year, our, our small remnant of Levitical servants are going to just give a gift. That's all we could think of is we want to encourage Colorado Springs. We want to encourage our church and just our small band of folks that have helped us lead worship um, since March, um, banded together to give an offering, a present, a gift. Um, we hope it's an encouragement. We've had a wonderful time putting it together. And it celebrates the triune God, his gift of Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, and the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit, which we so desperately need right now during this, this trying season. May the Spirit of the Lord be with you. May peace be with you this season. May you know the love of Jesus and the, the love of Abba Father, God with us, Emmanuel, Christ Jesus our Lord, celebrated through a gift of music, holy presence, a gift to you. From Matthew 2. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way. And behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly and with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Merry Christmas, everyone! gift of kingdom old, the story of the Savior to portray, costly noble gift of royal gold, to signify a king is born today, he shed his regal robes to wear our flesh, heaven's prince, the king of Israel. He reigns on heaven's throne afresh The king who made himself Emmanuel Holy present gift of foreign clan The story of Messiah here foretold Offered on behalf of sinful man Frankincense used in the temple's old but with his sacrifice, the veil was torn. Free access by his blood, a guarantee. The babe who once in Bethlehem was born. Now the great high priest who intercedes for me. Holy present gift of ancient day. The story of the Christ 
to prophesy Myrrh, it's bitter fragrance to convey An intention for a body born to die For on the journey of this Emmanuel In mercy our redemption that he sought As the angels sing in joyous first will his death, mankind he now has bought. No well, no well, no well, no Born is the King of Israel. Holy present gift of silent night The story of the Spirit now revealed By his death the enemy defied And pardon for our wickedness his seal Counselor, the Word of God to man Holy presence gift to those who trust Ordained by God
Thank you for joining us for our Christmas concert. And we know this has been different than in years past. It is so enjoyable for us to be able to get together. But today at least we can get together virtually and to worship and to celebrate God's present to us, his gift to us. And the ultimate gift, the ultimate present that God gives to us, of course, is himself. That Jesus Christ, the Son of God, became a human being so that he could live with us. This has been a tough year for, for many of us. At times we felt alone and we felt isolated and we've wondered what is going on. But what Christmas reminds us is that God does not simply watch us from a distance, but he has come and he's entered our world, entered our pain, entered our suffering so that he could be with us. And because God has come to be with us through Jesus that first Christmas, we now can live with him and never be alone knowing that he is always with us. So this Christmas season, as you gather with family or even just a few friends, and knowing that the celebration is not quite the same as it may have been in years past, we can celebrate this and rejoice in this. And that is that we have a God who understands our need, who understands our pain, and who cares deeply about us, so much so that he enters world to show his, us his great love. So we hope you have a Merry Christmas enjoying and celebrating God's gift to you, the gift of his love, his Christmas present. Merry Christmas.